heading today. Tommy's with me. Hi. We're gonna take the Shinkansen to a place called Toyama. Just water. Just water. water. Just water. This is Tokyo Station style, right? Chirashi. This is the cleanest FD I've ever seen. 100%. Time to do a drive check now. All right, so let's give it a little bit of a check in this corner. Whoa, we're bumping aggressively right now. Totally sucking it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, a little bit of a vlog style for you guys. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different, which we haven't done on the channel for a while. Uh, we're gonna go and see a car that we might be purchasing for a, a fun project, basically. So I'm heading today, Tommy's with me, and uh, we're gonna take the Shinkansen to a place called Toyama. Uh, it's pretty far, it's like a three hour trip one way. So it's gonna take us the whole day and uh, bring you guys along and uh, you can check out the car with us and if we end up buying this car it's gonna be like a build on the channel so really hope we can uh, get it hopefully we you know go and see it and it looks as good as we hope it will so yeah I'll take you guys with us let's go so we are at uh, Shinkiba station now and uh, we're gonna head to Tokyo station so we can grab the Shinkansen so we have some vending machine snacks here what are you gonna get vending machine. Just water. Just water. Just water. Okay. Big line for the escalator here. This is Tokyo Station style, right? Yeah. Yeah. So still walking through the station right now. Tokyo Station is quite big, so it's about 10 minutes from the regular train uh, platform to walk over to the bullet train side, so still going through all of those uh, travelators right now, so we'll be there soon. We just got off the escalator and I swear I saw an advertisement on here for the Fuji 24 hour race, so just gonna wait a sec and uh, hopefully it comes back up. Oh, it's here, it's here. 24 hour race. Ooh, there it is, Fuji 24 hour, coming in two months. So we're here in Tokyo Station, here is the Shinkansen. So we've made it on the train, got my food here, this is a Korean chijimi, apparently. What do you have? I got chirashi. Chirashi, so mix of different sushi, huh? Yeah. Nice. And then with a uh, menthaiko. Smell Smell there we go. Good mix of food there. Mm -hmm. And I got, this is basically like Korean pancake or something, right? Yeah, chijimi. Chijimi, yeah. Nice. So we are ready to leave on the Shinkansen. Yay! Toyama now, so three hours on the Shinkansen. Uh, it's quite cold here actually, so good thing I got the jacket. And you're cold. Tommy's cold. <laughs> you want this jacket? Okay. Alright, let's go see the car. Cleanest FD I've ever seen, 100%. Runs really smooth, too. Awesome. This 
So inside also looks pretty good. Very, very minimal surface rust. I assume this is like a strut bar that came with the Bathurst R's and uh, everything looks to be stock as far as I can tell. It started really well. It started with just, you know, one turnover basically. Uh, so seems to be in good health. white smoke but we'll see if that goes away in a sec. like a C2 Corvette or something this thing. So old style Corvette but very modern interior. It's uh, certainly an interesting brand, this company. Behind me here is uh, Mitsuoka, which is a Japanese car brand and uh, they make a few different things. They have this kind of like old funky looking style. This one which is kind of looks like a, an American styled car so uh, very interesting. I believe they make them off the Toyota platforms and only available in Japan so very very interesting. So guys that concludes our uh, trip out to see the RX-7. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and got to see a little bit of an interesting car but of course also uh, you know the trains and the Shinkansen's in Japan so back at Toyama station now about to head to Tokyo uh, about three hours again the other way so it's gonna be well and truly evening and dark by the time we get home um, but yeah thanks again for coming along and I'll see you guys in the next one and hopefully we have some updates about what happens with this car so catch you guys then Alright guys, time to do a drive check now. Uh, this car is 100% stock, so I thought it'd be great for us to do just a baseline basically. What is the Bathurst Type R like as a fully stock car in this kind of fresh condition because we're going to get a real reading of like how the car was essentially from factory, you know, the dampers, the bushings, everything is still nice and tight. So we get like an accurate portrayal of what this car is really like back in its day. So I thought we'd do a quick drive check today, feel it out and then uh, talk about what it is maybe lacking and then what we can do to it in the future. Of course, this kind of car, it's like kind of a, a treasure in that it's super low mileage, super fresh, 100% original. So anything we do to this car, it would just be bolt on stuff where we can just throw the original straight back on whenever we needed to. So that's the intention for this car. Um, have it in a spot where we can just kind of up, upgrade a few areas just to give it sort of a bit more performance and a bit more fun. Enjoy the process, but take it you know back to original whenever we need to. So let's go. Let's do a drive check and see how this thing goes. kind of came in initially quite smooth so it's a twin turbo the first one came in quite smooth and second one really gave it a kick there like 7,000 rpm or or six and a half so that felt pretty good to be honest like compared to like my baseline for like the touring x more of a standard grade rx7 definitely got a bigger kick coming out of this one but yeah, this is about as powerful as they made the RX-7 from factory. So, uh, like I said, the gentleman's agreement was in place, you know, basically in the golden era of uh, these JDM cars. So they capped this, the horsepower and everyone agreed at what they're going to cap it at. And they didn't necessarily stay there. 
some cars are obviously a little bit more powerful than that uh, but just written to be at, the, at that limit so we'd love to throw this on the dyno and just see where it's actually sitting all right so let's give it a little bit of a check in this corner read after that so what occurred there was I mean I'm sure the camera just showed it all to be honest we were bouncing really aggressive on the entry there I actually backed off a little bit because I didn't want to enter with a whole bunch of uh, unsettlement in the car then we entered the corner and initially the turn-in was quite good but around the halfway point we felt some oversteer come in it's not bad for stock to be honest like these are four-year-old tires obviously the suspension's got yeah 20,000 Ks on them. I think there's a bit of a lack of grip in the tire for one. A little bit of a bumpy surface there um, but overall not bad. Uh, I think we'll definitely benefit from a bit more stiffness in the front just to get more angle on the initial turn. Then we're not sort of having to deal with so much lock and body roll at the halfway point which is a bit of a problem which we just experienced but uh Tanush got that Yeah that, that was that was fucking fun like seriously. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching, please like and subscribe and uh, feel free to leave a comment down below, stay tuned for the next video.